I screw up that. Aikido is a traditional Japanese martial art that roughly translates into the way of harmonious spirit. Aikido is considered more of a gentle martial art, so it's purely there for self-defense in a way in which the attacker sustains minimal injury. At the Long Island Aikikai, we offer instruction in Aikido and Iaido. In a typical Aikido class, you'll see a thrower and the person being thrown. The reason why throws are more prevalent in Aikido than some other martial arts is Aikido's roots are in samurai battlefield situations where you don't have one opponent, you have three or four opponents. So you can't be punching someone in the face while three people are attacking you from the side. The physical basics of Aikido is not to use too much muscle. I did a little research on different martial arts when I was old enough to afford to take a martial art and I liked the philosophies of Aikido. Once I joined and started practicing, it was kind of more like a family. Our chief instructor, Edward Hagihara, had the unique pleasure of studying directly under Morihei Ueshiba, the founder of Aikido. He was very interested in the spiritual aspect and he demonstrated that in the Aikido itself, the physical art, really spiritual stuff. I was overwhelmed. So I feel that relaxation is most important and then centering. The centering is important because you can ignore the power that's applied to you. The thing I like about Aikido is it has something for everyone. If you're young and strong, there's dynamic techniques, there's fast techniques. But then Aikido can also be very uh, tactical and practical martial art. So some of our older members can practice without fear of injury. They don't have to practice at the same speed that some of our younger members are interested in. Aikido is also a physical fitness. So people that are just interested in getting in shape, there's something there for them. There's a lot of traditional Japanese etiquette that is ingrained in what we do at the Long Island Aikikai. From taking off our shoes before we get on the mat, bowing as we get on the mat, lining up and waiting for our instructor to open class. In 2014, the Long Island Aikikai is celebrating its 50th anniversary. Soon we hope to offer more than just Aikido classes and sword classes, we hope to offer other cultural classes as well, whether it be calligraphy or flower arrangement. Even the founder of Aikido, towards the end of his life, was not just perfecting his Aikido technique, he was also increasing his understanding about the world around him. The founder of Aikido had a saying, we must always shed yesterday's garments and put on new and fresh ones. The idea is we must constantly develop what we already know, perfect it, and also grow to become better individuals. As we move forward, uh, we're looking for creating an organization that will stand the test of time. <laughs>